Take a few dollars here, a few dollars there. It's, it's a victimless crime. Identity theft is a victimless crime. I can't see the victim. Mm -hmm. But we're still sinning against God. Mm -hmm. So even if I tell a lie and it doesn't affect anybody in this room, mm -hmm. I've sinned against God. Mm -hmm. Even if I do wrong, if I'm disobedient and it doesn't hurt anybody, I've sinned against God. Mm -hmm. Against thee only have I sinned and done evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaven in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be white as snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that thy bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. And here's the point we got to get to. Once we ask for forgiveness, once we ask God to give us a new heart and clean us, give us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us, we have commanded to teach transgressors thy ways and convert sinners unto thee. Mm -hmm. So we have to check our sin. We have to check our iniquities. Don't cover them up. Don't let them blossom into things bigger than they have to Amen. be. But if we do confess our sins, Amen. And, and there's no no need of any of us acting like none of us sin. The Bible is very clear. We've all sinned. We've all come short of the glory of God. But we have to confess them and not try to hide them. You can hide them from man, but you can't hide them from God. And even in that, we have to teach, trans we have to get to the point, we can't teach transgression the way of God if we are still yet in our transgression. Amen. We can't convert sinners if we yet won't confess our sins. Amen. So we have to get to the point, what is beyond the bed, what is beyond the bad, what is beyond our mistakes? Is it chicanery? Was it confession? Whatever is your beyond will yield to either will lead you to judgment or lead you to helping others avoid the same mistakes you make. And we just have to get to the point where we don't try to cover what we've done, but we try to confess it to God and ask God for forgiveness. The first step in any kind of recovery is to admit that you have a problem. And, hey, I'll be the first to admit, if y'all know some of my sins, you probably won't be preaching to you. But God knows, and I've asked for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to try to cover it up. I'm not going to try to act like I've been perfect. I'm not going to even try to be like David was before he realized who it was. And I'll kill that person if they did that. And I recognize, and I did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God, we come now just Thank like David, Lord. just asking that you create in us clean hearts Amen. and that you renew the right spirit within us, God. Do not cast us away from your presence, God. God, we just confess our sins before you and just ask, God, that you forgive us and be faithful and just to us, God. Mm -hmm. God, we love you. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross, that we may have the right to even ask for forgiveness. Thank God. you, Lord. God, we thank you and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.